were up to making awards uh, at one stage, they were well out and then they got back into it and then uh, they just sort of faded at the, uh, the last moment. But uh, a good effort again uh, to the Colts and uh, well done to you, uh, Michael. Thanks, Miles. Um, today was another uh, frustrating day uh, for, for the Colts. Um, yeah, we've lost uh, five games under 15 points, uh, but where we've come from um, last year to where we are now has been a huge, uh, a huge feather in their cap. Um, but we should understand we've got to play four quarter football, and that's what's the most frustrating thing. And when we played our best and played district football, we're good enough to match it and beat sides um, at the top of the ladder. Um, we've got a big game against Claremont next week. Um, I'm sure if we can play with the same sort of intensity and passion that we did in the last half, we outscored by districts by um, 10 or 12 points in the second half. To, to win that half, so uh, I'm sure we can match it with the best in the competition. So disappointing. Um, obviously, uh, you know the seniors had a disappointing day, but obviously the reserves are going well um, as well. So hopefully uh, the club can get off into a winning start next Saturday against uh, against Claremont away. But a couple of apologies today. Um, Arthur Bennell, um, he uh, he had eight touches and kicked three goals. He had won the Nando's award. He had a uh, death in the family during the week, so he's going back down to manage Mark. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Arthur Bennell. Um, our third best player um, goes to a, a player who's uh, been finding some form of late. Um, he's been uh, been a bit of a uh, pinch hitter through the midfield. For, sorry, thought we threw um, thrown through the midfield this week um, for most of the game. Um, and he had about 25 touches and it was instrumental in getting us back into the game after, the, after half time. Um, and that was um, the Estonian head match and it goes to Rob McCauley. Uh, our second best player, um, I said it uh, the, this morning, um, this kid's got a heart as big as himself. He's uh, a fantastic competitor. He just uh, loves tackling, loves chasing, loves doing the team things, which I, I, I um, love coaching the kids who, who do the, uh, the team things, the one percenters. Um, it's all about stats for this kid. He just tries and tries and competes very, very well. And uh, he just, week in, week out, he does his bit, uh, works his butt off. And uh, if I had uh, 21 players like that, we'd be winning more games than we're losing. Um, and that's the Sienna's down to the guys of Boston Williamson. Mm -hmm. senior footy um, very, very soon. He's be playing AFL footy next year. Um, he's a kid who, who just keeps getting better and better with every week. Um, you know, he just, he's got the best pair of hands I've seen um, in a long, long time. He's, he's courageous, he's, he's, he just works at his game and that's why he's going to be an AFL uh, star because he just works on his game. He, he loves playing footy and he just works extremely hard. He kicked six goals today, got us back into the game. Um, he's, he's just a fan. I, I can't uh, praise him high enough. Um, that's right. Brooks, but he's turned that in today, so he's away. So. Uh, yeah, so Ron Brooks, you know, he, he's, he's going to be a star. He's, uh, he's a fantastic player. 18th birthday today, so he's only having a few beers today, so um, hopefully he doesn't get into too much trouble. Um, but hopefully we have a win next week and uh, just stay with us. We'll hopefully we can turn it around next week. So thank you very much. Let's hope that next week against Claremont uh, you can reverse the, uh, the trend. Okay, the Blue Sky, uh, the footy club at the moment, it's the big fella, here he comes, uh, doing particularly well. 20 goals, 9 to 7 goals, 8. Mind you, they haven't won a game, I don't think, Swan District, so uh, you can take a bit into that, but you can tell us all about it. Mind you. Thanks, Marbles. Um, you're not supposed to tell them that. 
They are the opposition were bottom of the ladder, but um, I think that they're uh, they're certainly a much better side than that. They've pushed uh, some pretty good sides in the um, in the competition and reserves level um, right to the right to the wire, and uh, they were certainly a dangerous opponent for us uh, today. We had a very young side in. We've had really good um, service from um, you know seasoned veterans in the past few weeks. Uh, the danger zone for us today was, uh, I think the oldest player was Jakey uh, Lelich, the right by age of 24. Remember those days? Uh, so it was a very young group and there was a few concerns I suppose within the coaching group that uh, that might be uh, an issue, but uh, it certainly wasn't. Um, I'm really, really proud of this uh, group of young players coming through. Um, where the club is at the moment, there's, you know, obviously we're in tough times and um, uh, not winning games of footy at senior level is uh, really disappointing and it, and it hurts and it's uh, and it's something that uh, we're all going to work very, very hard at uh, turning around. But the positive is, is is that there's young players here that, that uh, they, they're hungry, uh, they're playing very, very good committed football, they're playing team football, they're playing for each other and so uh, the future looks bright uh, if these blokes stick together and just keep pushing forward. So that's a real positive. In terms of best players today, our fourth best player, and it really delights me because he, I don't think he's been up there, up here this year. He's uh, from our uh, our country region, our southwest region. He's a natural footballer, he's a great competitor. He's uh, now, um, you know, he's been titled our, our vice captain for as long as he's playing reserves, and if he keeps this up, it won't be much longer. Works his heart out, really good leader, and uh, well done, Kyle Anderson. Just, he's, a, he's the future as well of this club. He, he, he's got a really high work rate. He uh, has, um, you know, he found himself out of form early in the year. He's sort of, uh, you know, got a massive tank and, and works hard. The pre-season training he always looks, you know, he's just sensational how hard he runs. Um, got himself in a bit of trouble where he's working really hard, not finding a lot of football. He's been there about, it's been really consistent about the last four weeks now. He keeps racking him up. He's really uh, making the win his own and that's Stevie Payne. Now that's the Jimmy Dean's Dino Voucher, mate. Played a bit of footy with Pony's old man, that's uh, a bit of a worry, isn't it? That's your old man, will be very proud, mate. Um, second best player today, again, another one from our Southwest region. Uh, he is, um, look, he's been a sensational player and, uh, you know, he's, he's won medals, association medals in the, in the reserves last year and also in the Colts the year before. We've joked about the fact that he hasn't won uh, the, league, the league one yet and uh, it's pretty hard when you haven't been playing league footy. But uh, won't be far away because your game, um, Geordie, was outstanding today and uh, I think you took your game to another level and I reckon you frustrated us a little bit with uh, where you've been stuck in terms of, you know, your ball use and, and ball carry and that, but today you were just all over it an outstanding performance by Jordan Eastwell. Like he is a very popular person. I think he's off, uh, spoke about this last year. He's sort of, you know, he's the type of uh, uh, player, the 10 year player of this footy club, going to be a heart and soul. He's the heart and soul of, uh, you know, when we're having a few drinks on Mad Monday and he gets up, gets the horse up to, that we all get on and we love him, we jump all over him. He's the greatest bloke ever. He's got real character. He's a natural leader and he's, uh, he's been named captain of the. Uh, of the reserves group um, just recently, permanent captain. I don't think he's going to be doing permanent captaincy too much because I think he's just about ready to have a crack at 
at uh, senior footy. Um, outstanding effort today. Uh, just keeps working. Great leader and uh, really proud of his efforts and that's Freddie Clutterbuck. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. 